morning everybody welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to day one of my bestie Nikki and I's first day of our 12 days of Christmas we all of you are in for a treat for these next 12 days so I'm so excited to get started for my very first project for this first day I am going to be showing you how to do two different ornaments and I had showed you, if those of you who were at my live stream last Friday, or a couple of Fridays ago, this is what um, I had a lot of requests on some of you who wanted me to show you how to do this little outer part, because somebody thought the little tree was on the inside, but it's really on the outside. So I'm going to show you, we're going to do two different kinds, okay? So for that one, I'm going to use my cutie little, aren't these beautiful? I got in these little heart shape. um ornaments at Michael's they were 50% off and with that we're going to use the glue prints okay and this is from Beacon they had sent this to me to use and I love it we actually all my girls had made this in our class to, um, at, I believe it was at the beginning of the month and we loved it had a good time so what we're going to do I think I'm going to put this little stocking that's going to go on the little heart one and I'm going to use these three colors I love these these are my favorite colors together so we're going to use those glitters for that and for my second one I'm going to use this beautiful little um this it's a different shape ornament I'm going to try something different I'm hoping it works I'm crossing my fingers it works I'm going to I bought this little sparkle mod podge I'm going to put a picture of my boys and we're going to get some silver glitter to put on the inside I was going to do it plain but I don't want to. I want to put this to have I love shiny shiny and what's going to go inside it is this glitter it that's going to help with all the glue on the inside okay so let's go ahead we're going to go ahead and get them both prepared and we'll do the outside uh, okay the first one we're going to do here is the little heart and what you want to do is get your little glitter it you I've seen this at Joann's um, before I'm not sure about Michael's but it is at Joann's for sure and what you're going to do is just go ahead and you're going to pour some inside of your ornaments. And you could be generous, it's okay. And grab a little, um, I use these little cute Dixie cups just to kind of get the, you know, for them to drip dry when they're done. So what you want to do is keep on um, like twisting them around to try and coat all of the inside as best as you can. And then just keep and then as you're twisting it around you're gonna go ahead and pour it into your little Dixie cup and go ahead and just kind of leave it there like that for all of it to come out Goes our first one okay and we're gonna do the exact same thing with our bigger guy here so let's go ahead and put and you could be generous like I said put a whole bunch in there and then you're gonna do the exact same thing kind of just go ahead and just coat all the inside as best as you can okay and then we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put kind of drip the rest inside of our little Dixie cup there just make sure you coat it as best as you can so this way when your glitter goes in it could look beautiful so let's go ahead and just go like that and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set this one aside and while that one's uh, drying off there what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and I'm put our glitter use this in here pretty blue right here for this one on the inside so let's go ahead and get this and it's okay if you put a whole bunch what you want to do is just pour it in there like so and then just go ahead and just kind of do the same thing like you did you know with the glue just go ahead and keep on twisting it or isn't that beautiful oh my goodness I have a little tiny tree I'm gonna put these on so cute and I kinda just go like this just to kinda get all all of it okay there we go perfecto isn't that beautiful easy easy peasy so let's go ahead and put that aside and that's why I kept this kept this white sheet there so this way you could go ahead and just get all of the excess and put it right into your bottle. And these little glitters I had picked up at Joann's. Um, I, I apologize because I don't know the name of it, but they do kind of look like Martha Stewart kind of. 
and um, there I like using the ultra fine glitter with it that seems to work best so let's get that on there and then now for our bigger guy let's go ahead and get the bigger ornament we're gonna do the same thing but with the silver I'm gonna go ahead and get our silver glitter open here and let's go ahead and give this a quick pour and it's okay you can even pour the whole bottle in if you want there we go and then you just go ahead and just do the same look at how pretty that is already Oh, these are beautiful. I love it. Okay, so I'll do the same thing. Keep on twisting so it could all get coated really well. Perfect. See, and there you go. Have it. You have another one done right there. So let's put that aside and let's go ahead and get this all picked up again. Okay, what we're going to do now that's all cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and work with our circle here. I use these two punches here, this pink one, and I wrote it's two and a half inches, that little circle, the little scallop, and I use this one as a two-incher to punch out my boys' little, I only wanted their faces, and I use some um, paper here from my mind's eye. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on here. So I, this is my probably second time using Mod Podge before my life. So, um... I might be doing it wrong, but it's okay. It's going to work. I promise. I hope. I can't make any promises. So I'm just going to put it on here. I hope I'm doing this right, but if I'm not, I'm sure somebody will correct me. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it all on here for us because this will act as a glue as well as a little um, sealer. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on first. And this is going to go right there like so, right in the middle. I'm going to try my best to get it all down. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this, let's see. I could probably make it a little bit softer by putting on that on top. And even if it doesn't like go down like perfectly, completely, it's okay if the little parts are sticking up. I don't mind that. It's actually working yay and what I did for the scallops what I did was I kind of trimmed a little on the little edges there just so um so when it goes down it won't be all sticking up perfect all right this is working lovely okay are right, you see how it's a little sparkle there on the top so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it um I'm going to wait. Let's go ahead and let this dry a, a bit because it's said to do it every fifth, like in between 15 minutes. So let's let this dry and then I will be back. Okay, I went ahead and I just gave it another coat um, and I put the kids' picture on there. So while we're waiting for that to dry, I, and I also put this back in on the top, okay? While we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to work on my little cutie patootie heart shaped envelope. And I'm going to use these right here. These were the glue prints that are also from Beacon. And let me go ahead and get these out. And I'm going to use the little stocking for it. Might be, it's a, well, let's see. Or, yeah, let's do the stocking. Let me go ahead and cut it out. And I think I want the one going this way. All right, let me go ahead and get this cut out first. Okay, let's get, okay, now this one's a little tough. What you want to do is make sure you have yourself a little X-Acto knife on hand, which I have right here, just to get it lifted up to get it started, okay? Because there's glue, and you want to make sure you get it all up, because this is what's going to help with your actual, there it goes, perfect. And once you get it started, it's easy to, to get up, to get off the paper here. All right. All right. Okay, so this is going to go, um, let's see, where do I want it? We'll put it right there, okay. And what you want to do is just go, let me, you know what, let me put the little cover on here also. Let me put this back. 
put the little ornaments hat back on. There we go. Okay, so now with this, what you want to do, um, like on the instructions, it said just to leave it on just for a bit, just to kind of get it to stick. So I just kind of, I believe it said for like maybe five minutes or so, or you don't have to wait that long, just to make sure it sticks down pretty good. And what I like about this one, it has two parts. It has this part here where the cuff is, where I'm going to do the clear, um, beautiful glitter and at the bottom part we're going to take off the bottom sticker and do the red. Now just so you'll know because I forgot to mention this at the beginning I went ahead it did this the directions for your glitter it suggests that you do wash your little ornaments so what you do is get a cup of warm water and um, a tablespoon of white vinegar and what you're going to do is mix it together and that's how you're going to wash out the inside because you see how perfect it looks there's no little I mean, I'm sure you could do it without washing it, but I, I actually um, followed directions this time. I actually read the directions, and it worked perfectly. 